Welcome to Scientex TV. Today we have a very special topic. We're going to talk about helping teachers integrate migrant students from different backgrounds and languages. With our ever-changing world and our more and more mobile population, it's becoming very important for teachers to be able to offer inclusive education to their migrant students. For this reason, Scientix partner up with the STEM Alliance Cisco Foundation, where we work on SPEAR, the Scientix Partnership on Education Resilience in Europe. With the SPEAR, we selected 15 projects that had solutions to support teachers in integrating migrant students, providing learning scenarios, teacher training opportunities, and overall, helping them surpass the language barrier. Today, we're going to talk about three of these selected projects that introduce digital tools that can be used by teachers in class. We offer visual materials for migrant students, and we propose learning scenarios that implement CLEAR, Content Language Integrated Learning. First, let's look at the, a project that introduces digital tools to use in class, Mathema the Mathematical Visual Dictionary. With this dictionary, we introduce geometric shapes and mathematical concepts with pictures and give the names in multiple languages. What is a visual dictionary? It's not a dictionary in the common sense with a list of words ordered from A to Z, but it's more like a gallery in which each word is illustrated by a picture. And these are mathematical words, so you can imagine that some word of geometry is illustrated by a geometrical figure, while uh, more abstract words, for example, from algebra, they are illustrated with an example. For example, if you have a polynomial, how can you draw a polynomial? You just have an image where you have one polynomial. And this is all language independent, so our pictures and images contain no words. And with these pictures, with this gallery, we created a visual dictionary. So the main outcome of the project is an interactive website with the galleries of pictures with the words thematically sorted. This is very important. The words are sorted by teams into chapters. There is section geometry and then the various chapters like polygons, angles and, and so on. We also produced 12 uh, classroom posters. So these are posters meant for primary school. And these are posters without words, also to favor the language inclusion. Our second project today offers support to teachers to overcome the language barrier, and it's called How to Translate School Text into My Language. It offers a range of videos in 11 languages that can be used to welcome and introduce students, along with some guidance on using digital translation tools and creating videos for, st for students. Our main idea was to facilitate the integration of all those new families, all uh, new students that come to their new educational environment with a welcome school message. We want to transmit to the families and to the students that we are happy in the school, in the Didat school community, we are re ready to help the students and the families to show that they are not going to be alone. So don't worry, welcome to our school, and you will not be alone. We will provide you with several resources. First of all, this welcome message in video and in a paper, in leaflets, we uh, have translated already to 11 different languages and a second set of uh, a second collection of videos differentiated in uh, videos for primary schools and videos for secondary students we will show in a very simple way how to translate all the digital school materials to, the, to those students and to those families the schools should take the video and the leaflets and put it on the, their own web page. If any school here in the front page has an icon, the flags and the languages, click here, welcome. In the, in the language, you are going to use Arabic. Okay, I, I click the Chinese. So 
the video will explain in Chinese the reception messages with the four main ideas and the second video will will explain how to translate. Finally, let's look at how innovative teaching methodologies can help support the integration of students from the old backgrounds. Such teaching innovations include integrated STEM education, also known as STEAM teaching and learning. The Project Integra offers teachers a range of learning scenarios that help achieve this, both the STEM and English as, as second language learning objectives. The, the ultimate objective of this project is to accelerate the integration of migrant learners. That is, migrant learners who, for their first stages of their education, are having their education in one of our specifically set up induction centers. That is, before they are then moved to, to mainstream education, to mainstream schooling. Our focus was um, STEM skills and, and knowledge, science, mathematics, etc. The idea was to produce a set of um, learning scenarios, a sample of learning scenarios that use the concept of uh, CLIL, Content and Language Integrated Learning. So we had teachers, um, they were assisted by science and, and English educators, and together they developed 12 uh, learning scenarios, each lesson tackling at least one language aspect as well as uh, some science content. And in the end, these 12 lesson scenarios, learning scenarios, were compiled into one booklet. And this booklet with these lesson plans and worksheets and lists of resources required were disseminated to educators. They were, they were telling us how they were seeing that students were, were actually benefiting both from the language learning outcomes and the science learning outcomes during during the same lessons and actually students were enjoying having english lessons where the content was was science based as i said earlier talking about animals tackling topics like earth and space including also some culture so if they were talking about the science um, scientific aspect of food then they ended up talking a little bit about different foods in different countries, et cetera, et cetera, and obviously introducing some uh, cultural aspects uh, about Malta, some local cultural aspects. Now we want to see more students benefiting from this. And, and one thing we would like is to see these learning scenarios being used even in mainstream schools, because even in mainstream schools, we do have um, students who would benefit from, from this kind of approach. You can find these, the resources we've talked about today and many more on the SPEAR page on the Scientix portal. Follow the link in the description. Let's now welcome Isidora, who's going to tell us about a very cool new resource on the Scientix portal. Hi, Agueda. Yes, I'm very excited to tell you about that Scientix actually partnered with SEER, STEAM Education European Roadmap Project. What a mouthful. Uh, on putting back the repository of STEM career profiles to Scientix portal. So teachers who are actually familiar with STEAM education know that this repository was actually created as a part of Erasmus Plus funded project, STEAMIT, and the framework for integrated STEM teaching and learning. And in this repository, you find career profiles that can be introduced in classrooms with students of all ages. So these profiles actually contain the very detailed career sheets, an immersive video, and a very interesting podcast to be shown to students. As an example, let's meet Luisa Bastos, who really loves animals, and she managed to create a STEM career out of it as a program lead of an NGO for animal advocacy. I'm sure she will inspire your students to combine their love for animals and love for STEM. I currently work at Europe for Animals, um, an animal um, advocacy umbrella NGO that represents more than 80 pan-European organizations. Um, I am the program leader for animals used in science there, meaning that I am responsible for the organization's policies in, uh, in this area. I've been doing this job for four years. And I haven't had uh, a typical year, like alone a typical day. Um, and not even confinement changed that much. So um, that's also one of the things I love about, about this job. I honestly had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do when I grew up. 
but I had something that I thought at the time differentiated me um, from, um, dare I say, all my colleagues and, uh, and friends at the time, because I loved math. And, and not only I loved math, but I was very eager to understand how mathematics could help society. And so I chose applied mathematics to find that out. Communication is, uh, is something that I think is important in all jobs in some way, but it really became a major skill to master in this, uh, in this job because I, I do need to truly listen to others. I also work in, a, in an environment that it's, it's, very, it's very volatile. Um, a lot of things happen uh, uh, every week, if not every day in this environment. And so that also requires um, a lot of um, the capacity of adaptability, uh, creativity, initiative, flexibility, and, um, and also time management is, uh, is very important here. I would say try it out and don't stress too much with the choices that you make or, uh, or need to make. I know and uh, that they feel hard at times, they did for me, um, but try to, to follow your gut um, and know that the choice that you are making is not who you'll be. It, uh, it's, it's just a step that you are taking, hopefully leading to lots of fun. So our project to the repository this year has added four new profiles introduced during their SEER career snippets where students were able to directly connect with STEM experts and ask them different questions about their careers. We'll be introducing new STEM job profiles regularly, and we look forward in the comments to hearing how you've been using them with your students. So no science in action experiment this time? Not this month, Agatha, but only because we have something very special plan for the end of the year special. We will have a few teachers sharing experiments with us next month. So make sure to share your own experiment with us using the form link in the description of this video. And we're looking forward to a very special finish of 2023. Thank you, Isidora. It looks like we will have quite a program to finish off 2023. Make sure to tune in next month. I also heard that there might be some bloopers in the episode. So remember to subscribe, share and comment. And we look forward to seeing you in December so we can look at the world through STEM glasses. Mm -hmm.